good morning. Today, somebody's dog is barking like crazy out there. Today is the day though. It is officially engagement party day. We are so excited. Everything's all set up. Last night, Lindsay, Quinn, Frank, and I all set up the downstairs um, like rec room area of our apartment complex and like did a balloon arch. Lindsay and Quinn basically did the whole thing. Um, and I kind of set up the bar area and we all blow blew up balloons and grabbed dinner together and it was just really nice. So we had such a great evening and the girls were so helpful. is get ready and then make the cheese board and one of my girlfriends Laura is gonna help me with the cheese board I believe um, and then people are coming here at two so we're doing kind of like an Aperol spritz theme which is really exciting because like it's my favorite drink and I just thought it would be cute kind of like summer vibes like orange and white theme um, which I thought I honestly like now I'm thinking back on it I'm like should I have told people to wear orange that would have been cute but honestly, it doesn't really matter. Um, I just feel like it's going to be the best day ever. I'm so excited. I was like getting really nervous about it for a little bit. Mainly because being like the center, one, the center of attention and two, having other people's like happiness and like if they're having a good time in your hands to me is very nerve wracking. And like, I just want everyone to have the best time ever and I'm like so worried that like people are going to come and not going to have fun or there's not going to be enough drinks or there's not going to be whatever that they want and like I don't know I just want it's a lot of like meshing of friend groups as well so I want everybody to like have a good time um and I know once we get going and I get like one Aperol spritz in me I'm gonna be like totally fine but it's just the thought of it ahead of time that I'm like freaking out about a little bit um but I think everything now that like the downstairs has come together it looks so beautiful down there and I'll show you guys like videos and stuff when I go down there and like start setting up the cheese board um but now that all that's come together I'm like feeling a lot better about it but yeah I am going to start on my hair and makeup I'm gonna make a cup of coffee really quick actually with you guys and then um, I have to charge this. Oops. I have to charge this camera um, because I left it uncharged last night. So I'm probably not going to vlog me getting ready, but it's just going to be boring and take up too much time, anyways. Um, but I might show you guys when I start picking out my dresses. I have two different dresses that I might want to wear. One is House of CB, one is Aritzia. The Aritzia one is just a plain, simple, like silk dress. Um, I'll show you guys like slip dress vibe, very simple. And the second one is um, House of CB. It's also just like a simple like satiny dress, but it has more of like a corset vibe to it. So it's a little bit more form fitting in the top, which on my personal body shape can be more flattering sometimes. But sometimes I also feel like it's not as like loose and like free. So we'll see how we feel. Um, also my period just finished. So I'm still like on the end of bloating. Um, like it's like almost gone, but We'll see how I feel in both dresses. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get started on my hair and makeup, but first let's go make a cup of coffee. This is literally a Christmas mug, but it's fine. Um, I made like two shots of espresso downstairs in the rec room because we have a coffee maker. And then I'm just going to add almond milk. And I bought this um, caramel macchiato creamer which is actually really good just gonna pour that in there and oh my battery is flashing so we are going to go get ready let's finish the hair and makeup this is what we're working with i'm still in my robe um but i just put like one set of extensions at the bottom just for some volume i think it looks good um and then this is the makeup really like simple my like basically uh, typical like going out makeup I guess um, which just basically varies from my day-to-day -day makeup with foundation um, I put like little corner lashes which I never do um, I also never wear bottom mascara during the day as well but yeah, that's what we're working with I'm gonna try on the dresses for you guys and see what we think um, and then I'm gonna go downstairs and show you guys the whole, whole setup <laughs> 
personally think that I'm gonna end up wearing this one. This one's just like sweeter and dreamier and more like comfortable too because I know I'm gonna be like eating and drinking and I don't wanna feel like tight. I also don't want like everything to be on display. I need to like wear the proper undergarments when I wear like sticky boobs and like, um, what's it called? Like spanks and stuff underneath as well. But um, I feel like this one is the better choice. I feel like my makeup and my hair is like a little bit a lot right now but I, it's gonna fall and fade so much throughout the day that I wanted to do it like a little bit more extra like my lips are really dark and I don't normally do that but I just wanted to do it a little bit more extra so that way by the time you know I'm eating and drinking and talking and laughing and sweating and all of that it will still look nice by the end of the night so actually I think I need to recurl re the piece it keeps straightening and I don't know why um probably because I keep touching it but little bull I Little boy, are you excited? Are you excited? Mommy and daddy are gonna be together forever. Last minute pit stop at Trader Joe's because my very smart self forgot crackers for the cheese board. I have everything except crackers, so I figured I'll go to TJ's, get crackers, but then also I can get like a fake jam or something like yummy to have on the board because I don't have a jam. Um, I have like little nuts and stuff, but yeah, so. I'm gonna get like some extra charcuterie stuff and um, get some ice as well. That's just gonna break ice and then I'm gonna start pouring everything and getting her done. Stopped at Traders, got some pretty flowers, got fig jam, three different kinds of crackers. One of them is gluten free. Well, this is like focusing on my steering wheel, not on me. Um, and then I also got um, little um, pickles, the like cor cornichons or whatever you call them. Um, and something else. I think that's it actually. It took me literally 10 minutes, so we're almost home. Okay, so here's what we're working with. So our little balloon arch. Uh, Lindsay literally made this, which is insane. And then here's the little bar area. Um, we have, obviously this is not all gonna be here in all these boxes and bags and stuff. Um, we're gonna do like hard liquor and like regular drinks. Um, and these are little Topo Chico hard seltzers over here in this area. Then we're gonna have the charcuterie board here. We're gonna have chips and dip over here, um, like a dessert plate with like cookies and these little like rugula um, over here. And then the like sweet and salty popcorn over here. And then here's like the Aperol spritz bar, which is gonna be super cute. And then I'm gonna put like an extra mini bar in the back as well. Um, people can like sit over here. We're gonna like open it up to the back. And I just bought these really pretty flowers which I feel like are gonna look really cute like right in the middle right behind the charcuterie so yeah um these are the cracker assortments I got I got these fig and olive crisps these ones because they're gluten-free and I feel like some people might be gluten-free and then I also got this cracker assortment because I thought it would be good then I got like this fig butter but it looked like just like fig spread basically and these little babies because they look so good um, so I have like little bowls to put that in as well, so. You know it's Sunday when you get Starbucks and the little boy gets a little treat. 
Yesterday ended up being such a success. It was so nice to have all our friends there and actually so many people showed up and we had so much fun. Um, we went to bed probably at like 11-ish, I think. Um, Frankie ended up like cleaning the whole downstairs area um, and like everything was spotless and yeah, it was just so much fun and so great to just be with all of our friends and we did spill some tea. Um, we are moving back to Massachusetts officially in October, so just under two months from now. This lighting is so funky right now. Um, and it was kind of our announcement slash engagement party slash going away party. Um, everyone was like, is Nikki pregnant? No, I'm not pregnant. I'm like, I've been drinking Aperol spreads this entire afternoon. You guys think I'm pregnant? Like. Uh, no, but it was really really great. Um, just super fun to have all our friends there and even friends that we hadn't seen for a while Also like friends that we're super close to as well. So it was great and like I was super anxious before I feel like with big things like birthday parties or like anything that like is in your honor I feel like you're always like I get really nervous that no one's gonna have a good time and that people are gonna be bored or that it's not gonna be good enough or that like, I don't know, you just have to entertain people, you're meshing friend groups, and like, oh my god, did people have an okay time? And it seemed like everyone had a good time, so, um, yeah, it was really, really great. What do you think, Little Bear? Look at him. He is He's half, like half dead already. He just had a puppuccino, he's so happy no, right now. No, it was now. fun. I'm glad we got it off our chest, too, and everything. That's real nice. I'm glad we got it off our chest. No, I'm saying like letting people know that we're finally leaving. Like, oh, we oh, the anymore. announcement part. Yeah, yeah. I thought I'm you meant. Like, we glad we got that stupid party over. No, with. that party was nice and everything worked out. I'm just saying like we didn't. I didn't tell a lot of people yet. You told some people leading up to. A it. A lot of my friends actually knew. Yeah, Frankie's like a friends, friends a lot of them didn't. So. And I just like was yeah. I just at least they know. Everyone knows, and we can have fun the next couple of weeks. Yeah. This week, um, I'm gonna be vlogging, but I think I'm working on Tuesday, and then um, my one of my best friends, Rachel, is actually coming to stay with me while Frank goes on a bachelor trip um, for, he's the best man for where his friend Ryan, um, so they're going to Austin, Texas, so it's just me, me, and a baby, and my friend Rachel's coming to visit, so that should be really fun. Also, you guys wanna know something so messed up? It's literally 3 p.m. and I just got Starbucks. Also, this col the coffee color, criminal, criminal. I asked for almond milk, bitch, where? Like, where's the almond milk in this? This should li literally immediately jail, straight to jail. Um, but you know what? That's how actually tired I am that I don't even care. Um, I'm glad we like, you know, kind of ended it. I think Frank like really wanted to make the, like the party last forever. Um, but I'm like glad we ended it when we did and stuff and still like got an eight hours night of sleep and like woke up and like I we just didn't have any coffee in the house and I can't believe it's literally 3 p.m. and I'm just having my coffee for the first time it's actually it's very shocking for me um, but yeah I need it that much that I'm drinking this literally watery poop color coffee but right now we're actually on our way to Matt's, our friend Matt's house. This morning was really cute. We ate a cheese board in bed. We had like leftover charcuterie from yesterday. We were watching Wedding Crashers in the background and friends. Um, and we were opening up all of our gifts and reading all of our cards and um, just like, it was really sweet to like see what all our friends gave us and like all the sweet messages they wrote us and stuff so it was a really cute morning but yeah now we're on our way to Matt's he has like a pool um at his apartment complex in downtown so we're gonna do a little bit of swimming a little bit of tanning maybe like grab um a drink or like lunch or something or I guess it'll be dinner but um yeah it should be a fun little Sunday. Mm -hmm. 